Ethernet interfaces. This has three Ethernet interfaces, this has three. By default, for you to get connected, you're running DHCP on this. And it's receiving your network, your default gateway to the internet, you're running DHCP on this, you're running DHCP on this. What I'm saying now is, if you choose to do what you're looking at now, that means you probably create UIP tunnel here. Let's say you create UIP tunnel to this. You create UIP tunnel to this from here. But then you finally decide, instead of bridging it to this, you want to bridge it to this. You want to bridge it to this. But remember that means this has to come into your switch also. You have to come into your switch if you want this machine to be able to, to communicate over it. The moment it comes into your machine, there is DHCP here. It injects into the yeah, switch. Yeah. And machines that are here, that are here, can also pick IP from it because this comes into the same switch. So it's proper for you not to run DHCP if you're going to be doing something like that. You know, that's how I mean. UAP was uh, dropping some time. Okay. And in fact, you know, on the on the, on the network. On the network. Wow. You need to so need what to what if you are running this then you should run pair and pair yeah, yeah, yeah. so that it can be really yeah. separate from the so land. from the land. You have to separate yeah. it from the land. I look yeah. yeah. And when you deploy the how do you see the the speed okay. between the one of you you have this uh, yeah. uh, machine to another? Then you have to just do some tests within that. I will ask you from this period. Oh, 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 o